So at Graincorp, as General Counsel, my area of responsibility is quite broad. I mean, high level, it's very legal, compliance, uh, governance. Uh, so the company secretarial team and the legal team at Graincorp work closely together. Uh, we look at all regulatory matters, litigation and claims, uh, compliance, and we work closely with the board. So I think my role does assist to influence the growth of Graincorp in terms of risk assessment, uh, really considering what markets are we going to, what changes we're looking to make, uh, whether we actually have the right calibre of people on the right projects. So it's those considerations which are much more commercial rather than black and white legal, but I think all lawyers have a really good sense of uh, articulating risk and also thinking about uh, how to approach a project or a growth strategy for any organisation. Being an executive member at Graincorp also assists with uh, influencing the growth of the organisation. Uh, when you sit at the table as an executive member, you take off your general counsel hat. It's not just about the legal issues or the risks, but it's also thinking uh, at a management level about people strategies, health and safety, new markets, new products, customers. Uh, integrity, it's all of those decisions. So I think a general counsel um, can come to the table with a much broader perspective and really influence the growth. It's not just influencing the growth, but it's how you approach growth and how you consider the risks going in, whether they're new markets or product lines. Um, and they're also about governance and making sure the right frameworks are in place to facilitate that growth. So I believe the agribusiness sector in Australia is one that's completely booming. Uh, we hear a lot about the move from mining to dining and a lot of that really presents major opportunities for lawyers and many other levels of management within agribusiness. I think we've seen a lot of uh, uh, movement and a lot of attempted takeovers and acquisitions in the agricultural space and we have a lot of investment funds, especially those offshore and other organisations that are looking to invest in agriculture given um, we are a very plentiful company, uh, country. So we are a very plentiful country and we are able to export uh, a mass amount of products, especially through to Asia and the MENA region. So I think with that increase in corporate activity and focus, there are many opportunities for transactions and also for in-house roles uh, for lawyers in this country. To be an effective general counsel in all, any organisation, um, it's not really just about the legal skills. Uh, a lot of, you know, all lawyers have legal skills. We've all had the same training, but I think it's that edge and that connection to company that really makes you a more effective general counsel. Um, but you know, they say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So the first thing any general counsel should ever do is really go internally to its own customers and work out what it is that the executive team and the business actually wants from its legal team. Sometimes what you think you should be focused on and what you should be delivering for a business, they don't really match up. So I think focus on customer satisfaction, um, really articulating your role, how broad or how narrow it is, but also thinking about how you make things happen with an organisation rather than being the department that just basically says no or puts roadblocks in front of commercial decisions. Um, I think a general counsel that's able to think strategically and be very innovative as well as inspire the teams that they're working with is probably a good recipe for success. Thank you.